Hi, I'm Megan Weens, and I help customers get the most out of their Rosemount Pressure Diagnostics. Today we're in the interactive plant environment in Emerson's Minneapolis facility to learn how to configure the plugged impulse line diagnostic on a Rosemount 3051S pressure transmitter. Let's get started. Plugged impulse lines can be tricky to detect and lead to decreased measurement accuracy that, when left unchecked, can lead to decreased plant efficiency and product quality. However, the Rosemount 3051S pressure transmitter with advanced diagnostics provides a solution. The only materials we'll be using today are a Rosemount 3051S pressure transmitter with advanced diagnostics and a configuration tool like a TREX or computer with AMS. The configuration steps for both devices will be the same. Now that we have the TREX connected to the transmitter, the first step is to turn on Statistical Process Monitoring, or SPM. I'll do this by selecting Configure, selecting Statistical Process Monitoring from the Diagnostic Setup screen. This is a reminder that the transmitter you're configuring should be removed from Process Control. Select OK. And finally, turn on SPM and select OK. Now, the SPM variable menu gives us two selections. Standard deviation and mean works best in level or pressure applications, where coefficient of variation works best in flow applications. Since I'm working with a flow application, I'll select coefficient of variation. Next is selecting the learn monitor period, which is the time needed for the diagnostic to learn what normal looks like in the process. The default is three minutes, but for more or less stable applications, more or less time may be needed. I'll be selecting three minutes. Now we select the sensitivity threshold, with high being the most sensitive to changes in the process and low being the least. You can use trends from a data historian to determine which level is best for your process or use the default setting of medium, which I will be doing. To finish, set the action for when the sensitivity threshold is crossed and an abnormality is detected. An unlatched alert will generate a notification and clear automatically when the process returns to normal, whereas a latched alert will require a manual reset to clear. Alarm will drive the milliamp output to an alarm state. I'll be selecting alert unlatched. Once the learn period is finished, the diagnostic is ready to go and automatically begins monitoring the process. Since the diagnostic is housed in the transmitter, diagnostic messages can be accessed in multiple ways, including wireless thumb adapter, tri-loop signal converter, or your preferred asset management software. To learn more about the Rosemount 3051S plugged impulse line diagnostic, Contact your local Emerson sales representative or visit our website.